30 tons of aircraft flying at approximately 300 miles an hour. Those are the wings that will spread over Europe like an avenging sable shadow of death. Each one capable of carrying about eight tons of bombs. And here's the bomb diver's eye view as he hurtles down to a target. It's a Lancaster, the mightiest aerial engine of destruction ever conceived and built. Despite her great size, there's an awful kind of beauty about her economic lines. And this specialty to an aircraft factory leaves no doubt that Lancasters are being turned out by the hundred. Just look and see for yourself. Men and women who are conducting their fight from the factory benches are working at terrific pressure. Their great reward comes when they read between the lines of an air minister communique about raids on Germany. They know what these planes can do. Let's visit the managing director with his designer. Now, Chadwick, what is this business? Well, Dobson, we've got to uh, fit a new bomb in the Lancaster, mm. and it's going to involve strengthening the main uh, bomb supporting members and uh, modifying the under contour of the fuselage to accommodate it. Yes, they're always out to improve even the best. And in the drawing and tracing offices, they're working no less enthusiastically than they are at the lathes and the mills. Well, it's worthwhile when you see the kind of bomb doors that open from those wings over Europe. This day there was a big surprise in store. Squadron leader Nettleton, who won the VC for his daylight flight to Augsburg and the bombing of the submarine diesel plant there, was paying a visit to the factory where his own Lancaster was made. Incidentally, the squadron leader met one of his fans. With him were the crew that accompanied him on that stupendous hedge-hopping flight of 1,200 miles. She's the happiest girl in the world. Anyhow, he was here on business, so he climbed into the cockpit and tried the controls. You can picture those wings over Augsburg. They have a neat idea for disposing of coats and hats here. A bit awkward if you want to coat before it's time to go home. Let's have another look at another side of this vast factory. Yes, it does look as though they mean business. As they're towing out the latest model, we'll go with it. Pilot Captain Brown is at the controls. Chief Flight Engineer Harry Barnes is checking instrument recording. Here's a bomber that really gives you confidence. They'll get to know all about Lancasters in Nazi Germany and the rest of the occupied continent. They'll hear the roar of those engines day and night sometimes. They'll grow to loathe and dread and fear the wings over Europe.